this is going to be your first six, uh, full six-year term. Uh, you've always really mentioned a lot of uh, themes that have been a big focus over the past two years. Mm -hmm. Is there anything new that you plan to uh, draw attention to or focus on policy-wise in the next six years? Well, I think basically, and I've said this, the financial wherewithal is a financial house, whether in, in, in your own home, you've got to get your finances under control. Right now, we have a runaway train. We're at 16, they just increased the debt up to 16.4 trillion. We've got to rein that in. We've got to be able to live within our means. You can't continue to pass this burden on to the next generation. We don't have tax laws that basically take care of the working. We're, we're patching things one month and two months at a time. It hasn't fared well for us, and it will not fare well. There's no certainty whatsoever. People cannot plan. Uh, they cannot make investments based on what they can assure, be assured that the government will operate under. We have to do that. As far as the, our foreign trade laws, I mean, we're allowing corporations through our tax laws and corporate laws to go offshore, build, build their, uh, their, uh, their product, sell it back to this country, take our jobs away, and they talk about free trade. Uh, I haven't seen anything fair in the word free. So I'm fighting all of those things and doing it in what I think is good for West Virginia. Uh, you give us a chance to work and we'll prove that we're the best workers in the world. Just give us a chance. All we want is a work permit and that's all we spoke. We don't have an energy policy in this country. You've got to use everything you have. You've got to use your fossil. You've got to use your renewables. You've got to find the fuels of the future. But you can't decimate your, your entire economy and, and not be able to compete globally. You can't do that. So we keep saying this, invest in technology. Let's make sure that we can use our coal and our fossil cleaner. Let's make sure that we develop our wind and our solar. Let's make sure that we do everything in a reasonable, balanced manner. And right now, the government sometimes picks winners and losers based on where they put their investment. That hasn't proven well, and we know that. So I just, you know, I look at things and I look at it in a common sense. If I can't come home and explain it, I won't vote for it. And there's no one can pressure me into doing that. They've all tried. It hasn't worked. And uh, it's not going to. I'm going to be true and blue to West Virginia and do what I think is good for our state. And hopefully that'll be what's good for this country. And I can tell you, this country does well. West Virginia does well. We all do well.